Hey everyone, Stefan here, coming at you with, I suppose, the second ever episode of... Let's talk about a comment. This was an idea I had way back in January and just didn't follow through with it, which is basically the story of my life, that phrase, and just didn't follow through with it, but whatever. Uh, I can only make one researched, animated, edited video a month. I'm just really focusing on trying to improve the quality and accuracy of those videos. So any more than one a month is just not doable. But this, I thought, is a good way to address like interesting and thoughtful comments that come up in videos. So if you haven't seen my latest video on Paranthropus Boise, check it out. It's in the pinned comment. You know, it had evolution in the title, so I did get a lot of comments that were along the lines of, I worship the false god of Darwinism, and, uh, you know, I'm doing Satan's work, and blah de blah blue de blue I'm not going to talk about those comments today. I've got my own plans to address those sorts of comments coming up for my uh, Christmas special, so that'll be fun. But one comment I did want to talk about was by a chap called Christos Vos Cressi. Uh, no idea if I'm saying that correctly. And they said, actually, we eat a lot of grass. Wheat, maize, and rice are all grasses. Which is very true. As you know, if you saw the video, one of the interesting things about the Paranthropus family is how much grasses they presumably ate. They had this huge C4 score when their uh, stable bones were analyzed using stable isotope analysis. And that's pretty unique, pretty different. And I do think it's different to how we eat grasses. We don't really eat grass. I mean, if you go to a like a yoga place, they might put some wheatgrass in your smoothie. Wheatgrass is extremely powerful. But we really eat the seeds of the grasses. And even then, that's only after we've cooked them. That's as far as I'm aware, there's nobody who really makes their like full calorie requirements from eating raw seeds, but I could be wrong on that. There's a weird and wonderful world out there. And I've got the source here, Diet of Paranthropus Boise in the early Pleistocene of East Africa, which as far as I'm aware is the uh, biggest source on Paranthropus Boise diet. They studied 22 individual specimens. And in the source, there is this big debate about this C4 score because it is not necessarily caused by grasses. There are also sedges and bushes that could have given that strong C4 score. The difficult thing about these bushes, though, is that they're only really found in wetland environments along the edges of lakes and riverbeds. So that would have real implications for the geographical distribution of Paranthropus boise. They could very well be like a wetland specialist hominin. And if we continue to find Paranthropus boise specimens in those environments, then then maybe it is those bushes that they're surviving on. Who knows? As for whether they're eating the seeds or the tubers or the blades of grass, it's basically difficult to say. I think any of those could give a C4 score. As far as this source goes, I think they mean the blades of grass. They compare Paranthropus boise to Geladas, who are another primate that eats grasses. And those primates eat the seeds, um, not the seeds, those primates eat the blades of grass. They're debating in it whether Paranthropus boise did the same because their teeth are so different. They use this phrase which I had to Google, occlusal relief, which is apparently the sort of 3D shape of the tooth compared to a, a 2D plan of it. it. sort of measures the surface area of the tooth, I think. Any dentists in the comments, let me know if that's right. And in Paranthropus boise and Galadas, they're very different. That doesn't necessarily mean they didn't share the same diet because they could chew differently. You know, different muscular structures would allow an animal to chew differently. So basically, it's a bit of an open end. Who knows what future discoveries we'll find? You know, anthropology, archaeology, we're trying to recreate a puzzle with 95% of the pieces missing. The pieces that we do have are chopped up into little bits. 
and uh, we just have to try our best to come up with a, a reasonable idea. So, as for whether they ate the blades of grass or the tubers or seeds, could be any really, but maybe they ate all three, you know. A hungry animal is probably just going to eat whatever will get it to that calorie requirement. That's it, really. That's an interesting comment, Christos Vos Kreis Ye. Uh, I know a lot of you commented the same and were wondering the same. And uh, it's really an open end. I just think the, or at least the source thinks that grasses are the most likely because of their abundance compared to bushes. And if we compare it to other primates, they have a similar diet still to this day. They eat the blades of grass. So that's the working assumption at the minute until evidence proves otherwise. Skiddly do. Thanks for the comment. I'm going to try and not <laughs> drop this. I'm going to try and keep it up, which is why I paid for that jazzy 80s intro to encourage me to keep it up. See you guys.